Hello, everyone, and thanks for coming to our channel. Even if you were in a dark cave in Siberia, a piece of shiny green rock would catch your eye. As the excavators get closer, they can see more and more of it. In today's video, we'll talk about how an old bracelet was found in a cave by archaeologists. This could make us think differently about the past. Let's start by watching the whole video. Experts notice that this rock has been chipped and shaped into a bracelet, but they also know that this 70,000-year-old jewelry could not have been made by humans. Experts found a bracelet in a cave that might change the course of history. The cave where this amazing find was made is in the Altai region of Siberia, which is the least populated of all of Russia's republics and districts. The natural beauty of Altis is even more beautiful because there are no houses there. There are mountains all over the area, and Mount Balaka is the highest point in the district. Trekkers have found many important fossils in the cave, including the bones of a woolly mammoth. They have found 66 kinds of mammals and 50 kinds of birds, but the green bracelet might be one of the most interesting things they have found. Experts said it was made with human-like tools and techniques, but they also found that it wasn't made by humans. It turned out that the cave was home to the person who made the jewelry. In 2008, archaeologists went back to the Altai region of Russia to look for clues about the past in a rocky cave. They found a bone from a woman's finger and a half digit. It was made by the original artists, who used chlorite, a mineral that changes color throughout the day to shape the piece. Professor Anatoly Deravianko, who used to work at the Navasaburst Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography, told the Siberian Times about the piece. It seems that the archaeologist was very impressed by it. He said that the bracelet is beautiful in bright sunlight, that it reflects the sun's rays at night by the fire, and that at night by the fire, it casts a deep shade of green. Since chlorite doesn't grow in the area where the jewelry was, Experts figured that the stone itself must have been valuable to the people who made it, since chlorite could only be found about 125 miles from the cave. Researchers studying the bracelet thought that the people who used it to make jewelry must have thought it was valuable. The chlorite bracelet had some scratches and bumps from being worn in Siberia's Altai region, where people walk a lot, but the scratches and bumps seem to have been smoothed out. This gave archaeologists another clue that the person who made the bracelet must have had the tools to do so, and the bracelet may have had more decorations on it to make it even more beautiful. Derivianko said that he and other experts knew this because there is a small polished area on the outside of the bracelet near the hole. This area is where the bracelet was in close contact with a soft organic material. The archaeologist thought it might have been a leather strap Deravianko thought that the heavy charm on the leather straps might have scratched the chlorite to make that polished area. The brighter part of the bracelet helped experts figure out that it was warm on the right arm, but the most amazing thing about it was the skill it took to make it. Deravianko wrote about the drilled hole in the chlorite band, saying that scientists found that the drill used had a high rotation speed, low variations, and was used with an implement. Maxim Kozlikin a researcher at the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography in Nevabzebersk, told the Daily Mail in 2017 that the bracelet was between 65,000 and 70,000 years old. Based on these new facts, the finds are older. Kozlikin called the bracelet a wonder of creation and a world-level phenomenon because it changed what scientists think the level of technology on Earth was 70,000 years ago. Derevianko told the Siberian Times that this ancient species not only drilled into the chlorite, but also used other tools. People used to think that Paleolithic people didn't have the skills to drill, grind, and polish leather and skins with different levels of tanning, but ancient master craftsmen could do all of these things. This technology wouldn't have been used until the Neolithic era, which started about 12,000 years ago and lasted for up to 6,000 years. Scientists learned more about the Denisovans from the piece of bone from the X-Woman that was found in the Alti cave. The cavity stays at 32 degrees. In 2008, the DNA in the bones was still whole. When scientists looked at the DNA in the bones, they got a better idea of what the Denisovans were. They found out that this species 
Neanderthals, and humans all came from the same ancestor. However, the Siberian community split off about a million years before the other two species. The DNA also showed that the Denisovans came from Africa, but not in the same way that humans did. Tests showed that the species came from a migration between these two events and had more in common with Neanderthals than with people living today. The DNA showed when Denisovans and modern humans stopped sharing genes. This happened 500 to 150,000 years ago, and the species split from Neanderthals 250 to 300,000 years later, possibly in the Middle East, before reaching the Altai Cave. More research on the Denisovans has shown that they started living in the famous cave about 50,000 years ago, but scientists still don't know what this community looked like. Experts have only found the bone of a woman's old finger, two teeth, a toe, and a piece of another species' jawbone. The jawbone is important because it was the first piece of a Denisovan found outside of Siberia, where their name comes from. The fact that it was there showed that the animal lived there 160,000 years ago. Mikhail Shankov, the head of the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography, said that the 70-year-old piece of earth from the cave that made up the bracelet showed that the species was far ahead of humans at the time. In the same layer where we found a Denisovan bone, we found other interesting things. Denisovans had carefully fashioned these jewelry pieces. Shankov underlined that they used highly advanced procedures and instruments to produce their wear, hence the chlorite bracelet representing the ancient people's smarts. Shankov said that the jewelry was made with modern tools and that none of their other co-workers had come close. Boring stone with a tool grinder, which is usually associated with later times, was used so early in the Paleolithic era that we thought it was a sign of a more advanced form of humans, but this turned out to be completely wrong. The most advanced of the three ancient human ancestors, Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans, however, what scientists know about the genetics of the Denisovans makes them look like the most primitive of the three. Still, there are still questions about the chlorite bracelet among some experts. Most recently, a pair of studies that came out at the beginning of 2019 and were published in Nature raised questions about who made the jewelry. The researchers agreed that there had been no sign of humans in the Alti cave, but at the time the bracelet was found, people had moved into the area. This was all about today's video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.